Hi there, Jim Webster back again with another edition of Shopping Cart Integration. Today we are doing the ever popular WooCommerce. Uh, we've got a lot of customers using WooCommerce with iDev Affiliate and I thought it'd be a good idea to put a quick video together, show you how to complete the integration, walk you through a, a test checkout, make sure everything's working properly, show you how commissioning works. Um, this is actually gonna be a two part video series simply because with WooCommerce, you also get the ability to do uh, what we call per product commissioning as well as coupon code commissioning, and that's all built in and ready to go. Um, but in the um, interest of keeping the video short, I'm gonna do them in two parts. So this video will be integration and uh, basic checkout. Video number two after this coming up will be per product commissioning and coupon code commissioning. So uh, if you're ready, let's jump right into it. As you can see, I've got my WordPress, um, screen up. It's a very stock um, WordPress install here. I've got WooCommerce installed as well as a few products set up. So the first thing that we want to do is uh, with our integration, we want to come back over to our IDEV Affiliate Admin Center and you're going to go to Cart Integration, Shopping Cart Integration Wizard. And in this drop down menu, you're going to come down and you're going to scroll down to the WordPress section. <clears throat> and you're going to find, uh, we're doing Word, uh, WooCommerce. So you're going to find WooCommerce. You'll select it, continue to the next page. And here you'll find a button for the instructions. <clears throat> so the nice thing about uh, the, Wo the WooCommerce integration is we have a, WordPre a WordPress plugin that we're going to give you that you're going to download and install over in uh, the WordPress admin center to make it super simple and quick and easy. So the first thing you want to do, download the plugin here. I don't need to, I've already done it. You can see down here in the right left corner here of my browser. And once I've downloaded it, I'm just gonna walk you through the instructions here that you, you can, you'll read them step by step here, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna go over here and do it for you and show you exactly what you're, you're gonna wanna do. So over here in um, WordPress, you're gonna go to plugins. We're gonna say add new, and we're gonna upload our own plugin. I'm gonna choose the file, and it's the file that I just downloaded that I was given. Uh, in the IDEV Affiliate Admin Center. I'm gonna go ahead and install now. So the, the plugin for IDEV Affiliate and WooCommerce has now been installed. I'm gonna activate the plugin and you'll see right here, you've now got it activated. And from here, what we're gonna do is you're gonna find now in the WooCommerce settings section, then you're gonna click on this integration tab and you'll find IDEV Affiliate for WooCommerce, you find new settings here. So at this point, this will be blank for you. Uh, if you're, if you're, if this is the first time you've installed the plugin, this will, that'll be blank for you. So what you'll want to do is back over here in your IDEV affiliate instructions. Step number three, we're going to give you the URL. You just copy, come over here and paste that URL in that you're given. Now, of course, this URL is going to be different for everybody. All of our customers are going to have a different physical location of IDEV affiliate. So be sure to copy and paste this. Um, manually type it. You can you can manually type it. I like to copy and paste it that way to make sure you're just making sure that it's you know perfect um, without any typos. Once you've got that uh, URL installed there, just hit save changes. You are literally done. That's it. You've just integrated IDEV Affiliate with WooCommerce. It was that simple. And again, covered in the next video will be per product and coupon code commissioning. But with this plugin you just installed, you have all of that already built in. You've got standard commissioning, um, per product and coupon code commissioning built in. You don't have to do anything else with regards to the integration. Now there's a little bit of setup and configuration that goes along with it. That's what we're gonna talk about next. But as far as the actual integration between the two products, you're done, that's it. So once I've um, you know, completed an, an, an integration with a shopping cart, I always like to go and test, right? To make sure, okay, I see that it's installed. I trust you that it's installed, but I want to see it with my own two eyes. So let's see what, what happens when we start doing some testing here. So if we come back over to our IDEV Affiliate Admin Center, um, you'll notice we've got a couple of affiliate accounts. We've got uh, a couple commissions in there from some previous uh, videos that we've done for other cart systems. But at this point, we're essentially going to take the assumption that a customer has now clicked on one of your affiliates links. So your affiliates are out there, they're marketing, they got their affiliate links um, and they're doing their marketing wherever they're doing it, social media, email, websites, blogs, forums, wherever. The link has been clicked on 
and the customer is now taken to your WooCommerce store. So here they are sitting here at your store. They've got some lovely products, an apple, an orange, a peach, and a strawberry, and they're going to place an order. So now remember, they've now clicked on the affiliate link. We are tracking this customer, or at this point, visitor really, to the referring affiliate. If that visitor places an order and actually becomes a customer, the referring affiliate is going to get a commission. So let's see this in action. Um, if I come back over to my IDO affiliate admin center, I'll show you here in the traffic log. It's or it's ID number 235 that has the active tracking log. So we're taking the assumption that affiliate ID number 235's affiliate link has been clicked on and the customer is now sitting here. So let's go ahead and place an order for an Apple. I'm going to add that to the cart. And I'm going to walk through a checkout process. Hopefully most of this is pre-filled out. It is. My Apple is $12. Sounds expensive. I hope it's a really good Apple. Um, and you know, what I like to do when I'm doing testing, a lot of times it's easiest just to enable check payments or cash on delivery, something like that. That way you can test repeated, repeatedly just over and over and over without actually being charged. And you can see how this works. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and place this order. There it is, it's order number 28. If I come over to my WooCommerce um, admin center here in WordPress, you can see it right here, order number 28, one minute ago. Now, I wanna show you something very important about the WooCommerce integration, and we get a lot of, um, well, not a lot, but we get some questions about it. Hey, I integrated WooCommerce, and I've done my test, and I don't see the commission, what happened? If I come over here and I click on the pending approval, there are no pending approval commissions. And one would think, okay, well, I placed the order, I should see the commission, right? In the case of WooCommerce, our plugin is designed for uh, the order status needs to be set to completed. You'll notice right now my order status is set to hold, on hold. So if you have any other order status set up other than completed, you're going to need to come in and you're going to manage this order. You can do it a couple different ways. Um, you can click on this and you can see the order details here. Here you can switch the status to completed and hit the update button. That's one way to do it. Or I like to just, you know, just for quick testing, just hit this little preview. I can now switch the order status here as well to completed. Done. So now it's now switched to completed here. Either way you do it doesn't matter. But if now I come back over to my IDA affiliate admin center, I should now see the commission, right? Because again, it's gonna the call to IDEV affiliate from WooCommerce is gonna get made once that order completed status is set. So if I hit pending approval, we should see a commission and we do. Affiliate ID number 235, that's the affiliate that had the active tracking log. Now, if I come over here and view details, you can see it right here. The sale amount was $12, that's our Apple. And you'll notice shipping, um, I just, I, just to let you know, we've got shipping here added at, at $5, but any shipping, tax, handling, any extra charges are not included. It's just going to be the product subtotal that we're calculating the commission from. So $12, $12, WooCommerce, um, and you can see it's order number 28. Now, your commission definition here, we're set to uh, a 10% um, payout off of the sale amount, uh, which is the default setting. So that's why our commission came out to be $1.20. Of course, that's certainly adjustable by you. We're just using the default settings for um, this video. But there it is, that, 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 that's how it works. You've now seen the integration and an actual commission come through after an order has been placed by a customer that was referred by one of your affiliates. You can now approve this commission, decline this commission. And, and you know again, once you have completed this integration, you're gonna start seeing this list hopefully start loading up and you can just start managing um, all of your commissions from here. The nice part about this integration, again, it's super simple with the plugin and it works from the order completed. So you're probably gonna be managing your commission, your, your sales over in your Word, WordPress admin center. And you're only going to generate a commission for the sales that you mark as completed. Now, of course, over here in IDEV Affiliate, you can always remove a commission if you need to. Um, you know, not all orders are, you know, you've got things like fraud and chargebacks and refunds and stuff like that to be concerned with. But, Again, the nice thing is you're only gonna see a commission once you've switched to the completed status. And of course that can be backed back out. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you have any questions, certainly don't hesitate to ask. On to video number two, if you're interested, again, we're gonna cover per product commissioning and uh, coupon code commissioning.